Good morning. This is Susan. I'm a few days late, but I am going to finish up my powdered milk recipes today. We're going to start out with what I call a fanciful mix. You just take the non-fat dry milk, butter, and flour, and you combine them all together. You work the butter in until it's coarsely ground, and then you store it in an airtight container. After that, after you get that mixed, you have several other recipes that you can use. You can make an Alfredo sauce with one cup of water, half a cup of fanciful mix, fourth cup of Parmesan cheese, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. You mix all these together in a pan, and you cook over a medium heat until it thickens, and you stir it constantly, and you can use it on any of your pasta dishes. The next one we have is gravy. Um, you use a cup of fanciful mix, two cups of chicken or beef broth, depending on what you want. You also combine all these in a saucepan, and you cook over a medium heat, stirring constantly until it reaches the serving temperature or until it thickens a little bit. All right? Those are just some of the recipes. We'll go on now with the next one. Cream of chicken soup. That's really something, isn't it? Um, one cup of fanciful mix, three-fourths cup of chicken broth, one half teaspoon of onion powder and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. These again, you whisk over, um, put it in a saucepan, whisk it all together until it's thickened, and um, you have your soup. You can use this soup for any kind of chicken soup that you have, any cream of chicken soup, for any of the casseroles you have, it'll make one can. Then moving on, you got the um, cream of mushroom soup. Um, again, you can use this recipe for um, any cream of mushroom recipe, uh, cream of mushroom soup recipe or casserole that you want to use. Just take the fanciful mix, mushroom pieces, garlic powder, onion powder. You know, it, it basically is the same as Basically, the same ingredients are used, except for maybe one or two things different. Uh, you whisk it all together. Um, you add, um, you um, drain your mushrooms, but you keep the liquid. And then you add enough water from the, uh, from the mushrooms to reach three-fourths three of a cup liquid. That means you take the water from the mushroom, drain the water off of the mushroom, and then you add enough water to make three-fourths three of a cup of mushroom, of liquid. Then you whisk the liquid together, the mushroom seasonings and everything together, and you cook over a medium heat, stirring constantly until it is thickened or until you reach the, the, serving, uh, the desired temperature. The next one we have is condensed tomato soup. This is an easy one. Uh, it will take some different things that you have in your uh, pantry. I hope you have in your pantry. Um, you use tomato powder on this one and um, it's a wonderful recipe. Oh, tomato powder. You can either buy it already processed or when you can your tomatoes, save your skins and dehydrate them and then powder them as you come along. And there again, it's a wonderful soup that you have, a simple soup. Okay, next you have vanilla pudding. Uh, very simple recipe again. Um, you use fanciful mix, sugar, water, and vanilla. That's all there is to it. Um, you combine the mix and the sugar in a saucepan and you whisk it together uh, thoroughly. 
then you will um, add the water slowly and bring it to a simmer uh, and stir constantly until it reaches a thickened. You add your vanilla and then you stir. I believe, yep, here's the next one. You've got the chocolate pudding. And it's the same thing as for the uh, vanilla pudding, except that you use cocoa in here instead. Uh, you follow the same directions and you have, a, have the mix. Uh, that's all I have for um, powdered milk. Uh, you can look up many, many recipes that we have and um, find them. Next week, I'm going to concentrate on bread. Um, with the shortages we have coming, I hope you've got in your in your pantry. I hope you have yeast and I hope you have flour. Um, and we're going to make all kinds of bread recipes um, using cornmeal, using flour, using um, the corn flour itself so we can make tortillas. Uh, have a good weekend. Have a wonderful 4th of July. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye. Have a great day.